Hi everyone. Today it's the addition of an alkyne. In contrast with our work on alkenes, we have something extra to worry about. Now it's going to make a difference whether the inorganic reactant is in limited quantities or if it's in excess. So we're starting with an alkyne. This is the triple bond, and it's like there's four unfilled spots. One, two, three, four. In the limited situation, two of those four spots are going to be filled by the inorganic reactant, and we're going to end up producing an unsaturated alkene. Here, I have Bute2I, the unsaturated hydrocarbon, reacting with chlorine, Cl2. So two of those four spots are going to get filled. Now, it doesn't make a difference if you fill the top or the bottom. I chose to fill the top, put the two chlorines in there, and they end up with an alkene. This one is 2,3-dichlorobut2-ene. Two of the four spots of the alkyne end up getting filled. We still have to be careful. If the inorganic reactant has two different atoms, HOH, HF, HBr, HI, we will end up getting isomers like we saw in the addition of an alkene in the previous video. Separate from all of that, the excess situation is where all four spots of the alkyne end up getting filled. And we end up producing a saturated hydrocarbon. Here I started with the same reactant, bute-2-I. Now, I, to show the isomers, I have HBr, two different atoms. That's a signal that we are going to end up with isomers. So the, the HBr, they could have both gone in the same way. Here we end up with 2,2-dibromobutane. However, the HBrs could have gone in, they could have like flipped around. So we end up with a second isomer, 2,3-dibromobutane. The addition of an alkyne has these two big cases, a limited situation and the excess situation. Both of them start with an unsaturated alkyne, and they're reacting with some kind of inorganic compound that has two atoms in it. If we're told that the reactant is in limited quantities, we're going to end up going from a triple bond to a double bond and producing some kind of unsaturated alkene, or I guess technically maybe even an alcohol. Over here, in the limited situation, we're going all the way from an alkyne to some type of saturated hydrocarbon. And I hope that helps.